Launch Yemen! This is the nerve center where America's Space Force can track missiles fired from anywhere in the world. Coordinates for the second launch are 15 north by 42 east. Do you copy? Thank you. We're the first international media to be allowed inside. They're on alert 24-7, and they've been busy. No, no, it's launch, I ran! This is just a drill, but a few weeks ago, they and coalition partners were doing this for real. When Iran fired a volley of missiles at a U.S. military base in the Middle East. We saw Iran launch against Al-Udid Air Base in Qatar. Ultimately, we saved um, the entire installation and the personnel that were there. How did that feel? Um, heavy. Um, it was absolutely great to make sure that we're safeguarding you know, our U.S. and coalition forces. From here, they're also tracking Russian strikes on Ukraine. They'll only say they share information with allies and partners. But the powerful sensors outside are also America's first line of defense, with growing concerns about Chinese as well as Russian hypersonic missiles. This is how the US Space Force talks to its satellites in the sky thousands of miles away. These among the essential elements of what will become its missile defense shield, known as the Golden Dome. This is the Wolf Den. This is but they're also uh, concerned the about what China and Russia are doing in space. Uh, we're talking satellites with grappling arms that can pull other satellites out of orbit. It's becoming increasingly congested and contested. They're already tracking more than 11,000 satellites. We are already sparring in the cyber domain, in the space domain. I think one of our uh, Space Force senior leaders talked about dogfighting in space. I That's don't think, happening already? I don't know that we're quite there in the type of uh, Top Gun-like dogfighting uh, perspective, but it's something certainly that we need to be ready for. Top secret, what is that? So that, uh, these are just displays to show you the classification of the room. Oh, I can't wow. walk you in there. Okay. <laughs> It's a challenge for the U.S. military, which relies on space for navigation, communications and targeting. One of its senior officers says they'll fight to protect those interests. We will no longer assume that just goodwill will ensure that an adversary will not attack us. So you, you, to, to put it very plainly, you are, you are developing offensive weapons for space. I think what we're advocating for is the development and fielding of capability. The only way to deter conflict is through strength. And we have to have our own systems and capabilities in order to defend those assets. And it has to be made plain to potential adversaries. Are you able to tell us what those options are? I am not. But the recent US strikes on Iran's nuclear program gives a glimpse into what they can do. The Space Force played a key role ensuring bombers hit their targets with satellite-guided bombs. Teams like this, deployed to the region, intercepted and jammed Iranian communications. America has superiority in space, and it's determined to keep it. Jonathan Beale, BBC News, Colorado.